Hey YouTubers, I'm L Star Breaker. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you just zoomed in on this page, you're probably inquiring about the Canon FS100 and also the Canon FS200 camcorder, which seems to be an attention getter on the consumer electronics right now. For those of us that like to shoot video or maybe wanting to get a digital camera that's an SD shooter instead. I will show you the camera real close I have on the ground here. This is a Canon FS100, which I purchased about six months ago. Now, the newer model to this is the FS200. There's a lot of similarities to the camera design. Uh, the only difference is, is the selection on it and, you know, on the back where you select, you know, your play modes or record modes. And one thing that is a little bit disappointing with the 200 is it didn't come with a remote control, as opposed to the older 100 being remote controllable. So... Anyway, the attention getter we have on this camera is it's got a feature that uh, has caught my attention and apparently it's caught a lot of YouTubers' attention too. And if you look at this picture, where I'm pointing at is the mic input jack. That's right. This is one of the very few consumer cameras, SD shooters, and even hard drive shooters that give you the option to run an external mic into it. So Canon's actually one step ahead of the game right now. I mean, a lot of people have chosen this camera even opposed to some of the three CCD camcorders with optical image stabilization like this Panasonic I'm talking to you on right now. So, the thing I want to show you is a box that, uh, well, well, I looked at a site. What happened is one of the YouTubers um, gave us a little of a demo here. In fact, if you do a search on FS200, probably you'll, you'll, you'll find it through a search. Uh, the YouTuber went to one of the electronic stores, found an FS200 plugged in his iPod just to see what the audio quality was like. Of course, he did it at low volume just to make sure he didn't overdrive the camera and maybe risk damaging it. And what we heard was a very impressive sounding audio for external audio coming into the camera. So we thought, you know, this would be a good concert shooter perhaps. Or if you want to use it as an interviewer camera, you can too. This is assuming that you're coming out of a mixer of course or if you want to use a mic too like the newscasters do in the field that's cool too in fact that's what it's intended for but there's a few of us out here that have other ideas like me and uh, the youtuber that uh, that showed us the video with the iPod of course mentioned an attenuation network is necessary so if you look at this next picture is an attenuation network that I built It's sitting in my hand right now if you look at the next picture here I've opened it up and it's a pretty simple design actually. Very, very few minimal parts. It takes a total of about eight parts and about maybe an hour of your time. A power drill. You can see we used uh, chassis mounted RCA uh, jacks on it. And of course the cable you see here is uh, your typical MP3Y cable. Uh, if you notice the um, eighth inch jack plugs into the camera. Now one thing uh, that uh, Tex will advise you, and I agree with them on this, do not use the kind where you got to plug adapters in, such as a big plug to the little plug. And the reason being is, these jacks are what you call printed circuit mounted. And the weight eventually will put stress on it, and you could have solder joints go bad, and then you could have your audio cutting in and out of you, and the thought of breaking one of these cameras apart doesn't sound too good right now. So use the actual... Uh, Y cable. This particular one you could buy at Walmart. They're about four bucks. The RCA plugs plug into the output side of the box. If you notice here on this picture, and in this picture, the plug plugs right into the camera's mic in. Now, what this box does on the line in is it'll take a line level signal in. For example, given out of a mixer. Uh, just to give you an example, a sizes mixers you could use like this big boy here. I use for recording. I've done some audio out of this one for, with experimenting and it sounded pretty good. This is a Behringer MX9000 now. This is just to name an example. Or you can use little mixers like this if you're doing little interviews or improvs or whatever. Of course, you could use lavalier mics into the mixer and then the mixers line out into the box and into the camera. And uh, that really opens up a lot of possibilities for the, uh, how would you say, the consumer or even the novice video camera shooter that might acquire one of these cameras. This really gives you a lot of options that were pretty excited about here in the in the in the tech field so uh, anyway take a look an, another look at the box uh, all the parts you could buy at Radio Shack in fact this box went together in kind of a hurry I just wanted to see what we could come up with reason being is we shot a uh, country show down down in Raton New Mexico 
So uh, I'll tell you what, take a look at the box. This is the camera, this is the cable, and uh, that's about all what it takes to make this uh, work. Let me show you the schematic to it. It's pretty straightforward. Coming into the box, uh, of course, there's a couple of series resistors, of course, one per channel. There are 100K ohms, and then on the output side, in parallel, are a couple of 680 ohm resistors that we found that work with the particular FS100 I'm showing you here. And I factored into the reason of this is I'm going to be using uh, Pro Gear that usually has 4 dBU out at 0 dB. In other words, it's a relatively strong signal. So we didn't want to take a chance of overloading the camera. So even if we top it up to 3 dB on the Pro mixers, we'll still stay out of distortion with it. But those of us that are pretty savvy, you might want to experiment around and see what other values you might find in resistors or networking on it. This isn't the correct way. There's other ideas open. So play with the idea. And if you have submissions, put it here on YouTube because right now, those of us that have uh, Canon FS100 and 200 cameras, Canon has given us a lot of, um, how would you say, window of opportunities available. So, anyway, keep watching. And um, I'll, I'll patch my Canon uh, FS100 in, and uh, you get to hear the audio difference. And then uh, following down the clip, I'll show a little clip of what we did at the uh, showdown. So YouTubers, thanks for watching, and we'll be talking again here on YouTube. Find my remote control, so keep watching. Okay, we got the uh, FS100 plugged in right now. Like I said, I haven't had a chance to really field test an FS200. Uh, YouTuber Gary Glenn One has one, so if you have any questions, you could probably YouTube him an email, and uh, he'd probably be he'd probably respond to you right away on it. In fact, I'm in the process of trying to build the box. In fact, I'll show you the box with the FS100 real quick. And uh, the white set of cables is on the input, as you can see, line in. In fact, let me get a better view there for you. See, line in. And then the mic out is the MP3 white cable I was telling you about. And this part will plug into the uh, camera. Alrighty. So right now, this is with the onboard um, camera. And this is the mic I'm going to use into my big board right now. What I have here is a uh, Audio Technica AT2020 mic. Get you a better view of it there. I got a pop screen on it. So what I'll do is I'll talk into it and then we'll see if uh, we can uh, get some audio with it, okay? So I'm going to set this box down now. Okay, we got the patch cable patched in right now. And uh, this is the mic I'm using. This is, an, uh, this is a condenser mic. It's Audio-Technica 2020. It's one of the more competitively priced condenser mics. I'd like to try one of the $1,000 someday on it, though. But, uh, again, I'm running it through my MX9000 console that you see in this picture. Okay, and then out of that, that I'm coming out of the group in through the box. As you can see right now, I got it all patched in right now. And you see the black cable going to the camera. So I'll talk into the mic the way you're supposed to. And this is an audio check, one, two, three, hello, FS camera check, one, two, three, four. Mary had a little lamb, and boy, was she surprised. Well, you kind of know what I'm talking about a little bit, but <laughs> anyway, that's how it sounds with the, um, with the uh, MX-9000 driving it through that attenuator box, so hopefully that helps you out. Okay, next, I'm going to show you a clip from the Colgate Country Showdown we did. I'll show you one of the performers with one of the mixes we were happy with. In fact, we're still working on the DVD project for that, so if we get permission, we'll release some DVDs for free on that, so if you want to see how the showdown went in Rat Tone.